This is a very unusual machine. And anything that you can't see clearly in the video, um, I do take very nice, clear, huge pictures to put in the listing. So anything that you can't see clearly here, you're going to be able to see in the photos. This is a new home or Janome machine. It is a Model 900. I have searched high and low for a copy of an instruction manual for this machine, and I can't find one. I've had to feel my way through figuring it out, how to change the stitch patterns and so forth. That's really the only thing was changing the stitch patterns. The stitch length and the stitch width are really no big deal. This machine uses 15 by 1 needles and class 15 bobbins. It is a convertible machine, meaning that it has a flat bed and you pull the bed off and it's a free arm. Um, and the, the bed's on now and this folds up and that folds up while it's stored in the carrying case and I have taken pictures of the carrying case and I'll show you real quick here here's the carrying case it's very cool it has like leatherette sides and it slips right down over the machine and in the top of the carrying case is storage bobbins thread scissors all kinds of really cool storage space top goes right back down on it really neat and this is a red and white machine as you can see it's very cool looking and the bed just comes right off just like this and there your free arm is exposed your bobbin access is here closes back up and then we'll put the bed back on because I like to sew with the bed on so I'm not doing sleeves or jeans or something get back on there trying to do it one-handed too because I'm holding the camera. Get on there. There you go. Has lots of stitches. I'm trying to make it so it's not so blurry. It has like 29 stitches including button holder and stretch. Um, it has variable stitch length, variable stitch width, automatic button holder, and left center right needle position. And to change the stitch width, you turn this to the right and push it to lock it. And then you push it to unlock it. Push it, turn it, push, lock. Um, this is your stitch selector knob. Really cool thing. Push the button. There's all your stitches and what kind of needle position you need and what kind of zigzag width you need and what foot. And guess what? Push the button again. Oh, feet. All kinds of feet in there. Really cool feet. Don't know what this is. Some kind of a bobbin adapter. I'm guessing maybe it's for basting or chain stitching. I don't know. I can't find a manual. Um, there you go. All the feet in there. Really cool. I will take a picture of those in the listing. Close the first layer. There's your stitch chart. Close the second layer and it is double needle capable. One amp motor, it's mostly metal. The gears that drive the belt are plastic. Everything's been checked out, everything's fine. All the gears are in good shape. I'm gonna sew some stuff for you here. And there's some designs that I already sewed. And then a neat little scallop. It does some really, really neat designs. Really cool. Um, let's see. And I kind of just had to feel my way through how to change um, change the patterns because you just kind of move and turn until it does. I don't know what else to do um, because I don't have the manual. So I kind of just had to feel my way through. Alright, we're going to do a stretch pattern. And lock it in zigzag. You can hear it clicking into place. Doing a stretch pattern right now. The feet are all snap on too. It has a little adapter on it, and the feet are all snap on. Change the design. Let's go to like a ball stitch. Or like a scallop. Here's a, oh, let's do a pyramid. Cool pyramid. Let's take the length down. Okay. 
thread broke. Easy quick fix. In the holder. In the needle. And back. Let's try it again. There's pyramid. Very neat design, very smooth. The machine sounds awesome. It has a one amp motor and it also has basically a three speed motor. It's very cool. Has um, right now it's in low. Let's put it in high, see what happens. Definitely a difference. Three speed motor. There's pyramid. Nice smooth. This was a stretch stitch. Go to another stretch stitch. Go back. Go over here. There's a cool little stretch. And on your stretch stitches, you do want to make sure your length is all the way to the longest and your width is all the way to the widest. I know that is just a kind of universal guide for stretch. Very cool little stretch stitch. All right, we're going to do some heavy duty stuff. Let's put it back on. Zigzag and straight. This is five layers of denim. I'm using a size 16 needle. Reverse also on here. Reverse, up back, up back. Five layers of denim, perfect stitch. 10 layers of cotton. Perfect stitch. Let's do um, this is leather, three layers of garment leather. Has a nice thickness, but not too not but not too thick. Not an industrial machine. Might be a roller foot up there, which would be a lot better to work on something sticky like this. And I'm running into a second layer. There we go. Leather works nicely. This is just an all-around really cool machine. Lots of features, lots of stitches, lots of feet. Um, convertible flatbed free arm, which is a very, very, very nice feature. It's the new home, Janome Model 900.